Welcome back everybody, so glad you could join me on this wonderful winter. This is going to be our first winter uh, tutorial of the year. Today we're going to be covering the basic fundamentals of snow, and it's surprisingly easier than you might think. As you can see, now I like to do things in bite-sized chunks, so this is going to be a small video about snow, and how the lighting and colors all work, and the next video is going to be a small video about how to make this little snowman thing. And then the next is probably going to be about how to cover certain stuff in snow, like wood and fences and trees and bushes and stuff like that. It's going to be a simple little tiny series of small little videos, so I hope you enjoy, hope you uh, join me, and obviously the most comprehensive view is to watch them all, but they're small and you can pick and choose whichever you're really interested in. So let's get started. This is going to be probably the most obvious thing you might assume, but the colors we're going to be using are essentially pure white and maybe a little bit of off-white, a little bit of gray, but barely, barely, and then very light blue, almost like a powder blue, but very, very light blue. And if you've got other things in your environment, like trees, or if it's outside and there's grass and stuff poking up through the, the snow, here's the interesting thing to keep in mind. The more sunny things are, the more vibrant things are, the more colorful they are generally. The less sun that's around, so the more cloud cover there is, which usually is very uh, prevalent in winter, things look very muted. So the colors for things like wood would not be a very vibrant brown or whatever, it'd be a very muted, very very low saturation brown or same with the or same with the, the green for the grass very not not usually very saturated a little more on the muted side you can still tell it's green but a little a little less green now as usual the brush we're going to be using is the hard round pressure opacity brush i like to have my pressure sensitivity turned off on the size stuff but i used to, I, I still keep it on for just the the opacity of it all and every program cry to clip studio procreate they've all got this brush but chances are it'll be named differently. Just hunt around and find the brush that operates this way or check in the comments below to see if someone has already found it and just saves you a bit of time. Which by the way, if you find this stuff, go ahead and put it in the comments. <laughs> Save some people some time. I appreciate that. Now I like this nice round brush because we can just go ahead and get started. We are going to be covering this platform with snow and I keep the brush kind of big because it saves time and this is just the initial bits right here. Now we're going to rotate the canvas real quick because it's easier on most people's hands to go up and down as opposed to you know horizontal. So here's something to keep in mind also with snow. You want it to be kind of smooth. You don't want there to be jagged jaggedness too much in snow unless it's been like disturbed like someone's walked through it or animals dug through it for whatever reason. So most of your snow is going to be pretty it's going to be kind of lumpy because that's how snow likes to do but here's an example of a sharp corner. This right here, very sharp. We want it to be very smooth. We want it to be a nice little smooth wavy sort of transition because when snow comes down, it's, it accumulates, it collects, and there's small little bumps and rocks and grass clumps and stuff that accumulate snow very, very gradually over time. And when they accumulate, they kind of, they, they kind of build off of each other, making these very smooth little mounds. Now our eraser is the same as our brush, and let's clean up this edge a little bit. Again, we don't want any sharp jagged corners. We can have bumps, but we don't want sharp bumps. Kind of keep your brush a little wavy. And now let's actually just have a little bit of character on this other end. Let's erase just a bit near the edges because we are going to sort of give the illusion that the snow has piled very inefficiently, being big words over here, on the edges. So it kind of falls and doesn't quite accumulate. So we're gonna go back to our brush. We're just gonna, this is, this is fast. This is fast and loose. We like to do things fast and loose in these little fast tutorials. Snow is not that complicated, so I don't have to spend too much time on it. We're gonna have some kind of come down here, brush a little smaller. And this like looks like I'm just kind of just fiddling around and just kind of dotting stuff around. And I am. And that's all you really have to do. Just make sure it's not too uniform. Make sure, make sure it's a little, little different. And if you see any jagged edges, try and get rid of them without putting too much effort into it. Okay, now we have our basic snow shape, our basic snow, you know, mound sort of just kind of stacked up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come make a new layer, right click it and do create clipping mask. And now we're going to do the real secret sauce of the snow. We're grabbing that very light blue. And if our, if our light source is up here coming down, then the shadows are going to be down here going up. So that means the shadow is going to be on the right side of the mound. And all we have to do is just keep our brush kind of big and sort of find a mound like this. Our shadow is going to be right there on this side of the mound if our light source is over here. But if our light source of course is opposite, we're going to just you know keep it that way. Just make sure you're painting on the right layer. <laughs> and we're just going to add a couple. If you see any obvious bumps that you've made for yourself, like this right here is a lump, we're doing kind of the same, giving it a bit of shadow. But then you're going to have to start sort of making little bumps for yourself. Vary the size of your brush and these little shadow bits are your way of mapping out where a, a, a lump or a clump or you know <laughs> 
a, a mound of snow is. So don't try and like dot them around like this. Keep them a little different and we're gonna smooth them out and make them kind of more uniform pretty soon. All right, now we can just go to our eraser and we're gonna do a soft round brush now. And we are going to erase a bit of the mounds near, here's the mound and here's the shadow. Very bad, very quickly. We're going to just sort of start slowly erasing the shadow to make a nice little gradient from opaque shadow and bleeds more into the white. We're gonna do this just a few times and you're just erasing the left side of that shadow that you made, the upper left side. Now we're gonna go our brush, soft brush, and our color's still on that nice light blue. And here's the best part, because this is in one entire mound, we're going to be pretty much adding a nice soft shadow to the bottom of the whole thing and a bit to the right. And now we go back to our eraser and here's where things really start to sh take shape. Just remember to erase the top left of the mounds that you've sort of given to yourself. And if you need to make new mounds, feel free, now's your chance. But just change the size of your brush and change how hard you press. Some smaller mounds, you might wanna have a smaller, more defined brush, but the bigger ones, you know, a little less defined. And we can go back to our brush, and this is sort of just this back and forth play that you're partaking in, and you're just gonna paint the right side of the, of the mound kinda gently, and if it's too harsh, just erase a bit off the top. It's a very subtle art, drawing snow, and this is just the fast stuff. Here we go, that's not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so let's talk about the shadows. So we've already got the shadows, this nice light you know, powder blue. So let's add something to this. Let's make a new layer and let's grab this dark muted brown. Switch my brush to a more hard brush. I'm gonna start drawing stuff kind of sticking out. Maybe like small trees, branches, leaves, twigs, maybe a fence post. I'm just gonna erase that, give it a quick little shape. And now the way the snow will kind of accumulate around the bottom of these things. It's gonna just have these little lumps, just like it did along the rest of it. And these are kind of hard to see at the moment, so let's make a clipping mask over these sticks and such. Grab that lighter brown and gently kind of do a bit of that. Now we can see a little better. I'm just gonna give these a little bit extra sun, a little extra room, so we know where the light source is coming from. Don't need to do it to all of them. Make it a little more exaggerated for fun. Now it's almost like a cylindrical stake sticking out of the ground. Okay, so that's our basic shapes. Now let's just add that shadow real quick. We're gonna go under it to our clipping mask below, or we can make a new clipping mask if you're worried about messing up your nice, tidy, smooth little mounds. We're gonna grab our shadow color, and because our light source is up here, coming down, our shadows are gonna be on the bottom, going to the right. Just try to make sure that they're about the right size. Make sure they make sense. It's harder than you think, making sense, trust me. Yeah, if we need to clean these up, we totally can. The shadows are a little weird. Now you're getting the kind of basic gist, right? Now you're seeing, oh, that's how snow works. Because now once you got this far, you pretty much got everything figured out roughly. I'm just, <laughs> here, here's the best part. I'm just gonna do a little bit extra credit. And literally that extra credit is simply, I'm just going to like <laughs> add little twigs and, and leaves. And that's, that's it. That's truly it. And that is pretty much the core fundamentals of snow. I told you, it's gonna be a fast one. It's gonna be a quick one. It really doesn't take that much time at all. Snow is very simple in its fundamentals. It's light and moisture, and it's very reflective, and we'll get more into the reflective stuff once we start actually interacting more with objects. This is just the fundamentals. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, learned something. Leave a like if you like it, a dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe to see more. Thank you so much to my amazing patrons. I appreciate the ever-loving out of you for supporting the ever-loving out of me, and I will see you in the next episode which we're going to talk about snowman we're going to be a little snowman where this little steak thing is and that'd be fun it's gonna be kind of frumpy i think i'm thinking it'd be like a sad snowman would be fun so i'll see you then